Chartered Financial Analyst Society of Nigeria, as part of its advocacy in driving a vibrant financial services industry, hosted the Global Investment Performance Standards Workshop in Lagos. It brought together CFA members in the country and stakeholders in the investment, asset management, financial and capital market space. Mr. Paul Smith, the President and CEO of CFA Global, speaks on the benefits of the GIPS adoption to Nigeria. Well, uh, globally, uh, we are um, the largest uh, investment professional body. We have about 160,000 members around the world. Here in Nigeria, we started uh, a handful of years ago, so it's still very new. But Nigeria is our fastest growing country anywhere in the world today, growing at about 30 to 35 percent per annum. So we're very excited. We have about 300 members today in Nigeria but we are creating about 70 to 80 new members a year. And when I mean creating, what I mean is that that's young Nigerians passing our credential and becoming parts of this investment profession, becoming members of this investment profession. And so they get to, uh, once they've qualified, what, they get to put those three letters after their name, CFA. Um, so uh, that's, that's what we're up to, um, and it's, it's great fun. Now, the GIPS as the Jean Seminar is, is very, very interesting today. You've talked about this role of transforming the investment professions industry in the financial services uh, market in Nigeria. Tell us how the GIPS and how CFA is playing a role in driving this to even bring value and services to the financial well, services industry. Well, when you think about the charter exam, that's for an individual. Global investment performance standards is really something that is for a company, so the company that that individual works for. So it's part of the infrastructure that a company can develop to demonstrate that it is trying to run its business on behalf of its clients. So what Global Investment Performance Standards, or GIPS for short, does is to provide comparability of performance numbers across all of the mandates and portfolios that a company runs. So what, what, what one of the problems in the investment management industry is that too often investment management companies cherry pick uh, their results and so they present uh, a, a rosy, a false picture of their performance to clients. And so what GIPS does is it creates an environment where managers have to be um, very rigorous and transparent about the performance numbers that they're presenting to clients. So clients can have confidence that the company has actually developed the performance that the company is trying to sell to them. So that's the idea behind GIPS. It's a standard. In terms of the asset manager's code, what would be the benefit of adopting this in Nigeria overall for the Nigerian uh, economy? Well, an asset manager code is a code of conduct. So in the same way that one has a, a code of conduct as an individual, this is a code of conduct for a company. And it's principles-based, and what it's trying to do is to demonstrate again to clients that the company has policies and procedures that place the client's interest first. So uh, examples of that would be dealing procedures, for instance, fair dealing, that you're not benefiting one client over another client, that all clients get the same um, uh, uh, treatment from the business. So it's a, it's a set of 10 principles governing the 10 major activities that an asset management company has to make sure that you're giving effectively a quality statement to your clients that you're working on their behalf. Again, it's voluntary. It's something that the asset management companies self-regulate by adopting this code exactly in the same way that GIPS is voluntary. It's self-regulation. And that, I think, in itself is incredibly important because it's a demonstration that you're doing something without the force of regulation, that you don't need a regulator in Abuja to tell you what is right. You're doing it voluntarily yourself. The chairman of the GIPS committee in Nigeria, Mr. David Udwanu, believes the country has a lot of opportunities that will deepen its economy by embracing the investment performance framework. It's important to make the point that the GIP is a global set of standards that has been developed by the CFA Institute to support the, pro the presentation of investment results. So what it does is to ensure uniformity in presentation of results in the way data is calculated and presented to investors. And it builds confidence in the investing community that the fund managers that have their money in a fiduciary responsibility, uh, you know, um, uh, 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 managing it in a professional way. It allows for comparability. So when you get a report of a fund manager A, you can compare it fund manager B and, uh, and see who is doing better. 
um, but more importantly, it allows Nigerian fund managers to compete for international mandates because once you are GIPS compliant, you can then compete for mandates in other countries because you can be compared with fund managers from other countries. So I think overall it supports the overarching objective of promoting the financial services industry, of promoting the investment industry particularly, and also encouraging foreign direct investment in Nigeria. For the president of CFA Society Nigeria, Mr. Banji Feintola, the GIPS adoption will give the country access to a global pool of resources boosting investments. If you look at the asset management industry, the pension industry in Nigeria, it's a big industry. Um, all the people in the room, you know, we are all managing people's money at the end of the day. The investors out there hold us to a very high standard. We owe the industry a fiduciary duty of trust to ensure that what we are doing is actually for the benefit of investors and ultimately that society will benefit from what we do as investment professionals. Now, an important area, obviously, is if a prospective client is trying to engage me as an investment management firm, you know, even though a lot of time we say you know, the past is not a reflection of the future, but the only information they have is how I've performed in the past, and that influences their choice in deciding whether to engage me as an investment manager or not. So which leads us to the issue of performance presentation. You know, if the performance presentation that we're presenting to clients and prospective clients is not true, it's not accurate or it misrepresents the facts as it is, then chances are people are making their choices using false information. So there's a need for the industry to standardize performance presentation, which is what the GIPS does. It's a voluntary standard. I mean, we're not in any way forcing people to adopt this global standard. But what we're trying to achieve today is to show people that, look, there's a lot of benefit to adopting the global standard. One, it shows you to be an ethical firm. Two, it shows that you're a firm that is measuring up to global standards. And three, importantly, your clients begin to trust you. Once there's no trust in the investment industry, the whole system breaks down. So that's why I think that hopefully when people leave here today, it's just the first in a series of events that will be holding for Gibbs. People will go back to their offices and make a commitment to themselves that Gibbs is a necessity for the industry and they would willingly adopt Gibbs. At the time Nigeria seeks to boost its foreign capital inflows, the adoption of the CFA-developed GIPS framework for companies provides that pathway for attracting real-time investments that will grow the economy.